Welcome to Baugan Inglés 4.0, the radio show with Kyle Miller. Following class by class, step by step, the material of Baugan Inglés 4.0 on Aprende Inglés TV. Clase 20. Class 20. Let's go! Beginner. Eso es, aquí estamos en la clase 20. Welcome to class 20. Bienvenidos, welcome to class 20. Vamos a practicar lo que hemos visto en la última clase. Estuvimos practicando con las palabras easy and difficult. Difficult, easy, fácil, and difficult, difícil, difficult. Okay. Is Spanish easy or difficult for you? Y tienes que responder. ¿Es fácil o difícil para ti? Spanish is easy for me. En voz alta. Spanish is easy for me. It's easy for me. Con la contracción. It's. It's easy for me. It's easy for me. Is Spanish an easy or a difficult language for you? It's an easy language for me. Okay. Is Spanish easy or difficult for me? Yo soy de Canadá. Entonces, tienes que decir tú, you. It's easy for you. Oh, wow. Well. Después de vivir uno, unos años, pues cada vez más fácil, pero no es, no es muy, muy fácil. It's not very easy. It's difficult. Difficult. Is the Andaluz accent easy or difficult for you? It's difficult for me. Is the Andaluz accent an easy or a difficult accent for you? It's a difficult accent for me. Yes. Is English easy or difficult for you? It's difficult for me. Is English an easy or a difficult language for you? It's a difficult language for me. Okay? Is English easy or difficult for me? Yo soy de Canadá. Is it easy or difficult for me? It's easy for you, Kyle. It's easy for you. It's easy. It's an easy language. Is it easy or difficult for Zapatero? It's, it's difficult for Zapatero. Is it an easy language or a difficult language for Zapatero? It's a difficult language for Zapatero. Is German easy or difficult? It's difficult. Is it easy or difficult for Michael Schumacher? It's easy for Michael Schumacher. German is easy for Michael Schumacher, but it's difficult for me. It's difficult for you, but it's easy for Michael Schumacher. It's easy for German people. It's easy for people from Germany. Yes. Ahora vamos a practicar los números que hemos visto en la última clase. Numbers. The numbers from 1 to 10. Okay. The numbers from 1 to 10, counting up. Count with me. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Eso es. Ahora en revés. 10, 9, 8. Conmigo, seven, six, five, four, three, three. Sacando la lengua con ese sonido. Three, 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 two, one. Muy bien. Now with the even numbers. Los números pares. Even numbers. Dos, cuatro, seis, ocho, diez. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Eso es. Y en revés. Ten, eight, six, four, two. And now the odd numbers. Impares. The odd numbers. One, 
three, five, seven, nine. Y en revés. Nine, seven, five, three, one. And all the numbers, one more time, una vez más. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Muy bien. Eso es. Word of the day. That's right, it's time for the word of the day. The word of the day today is move. Mover, que es mover. To move. To move. But we also have, también hay el verbo mudar. To move from one city to another. When I was young, my family moved from one town to another town. I'm moving. I'm moving my hands. Right now, I'm moving my hands. I'm moving my lips. Mis labios. I'm moving my lips when I speak. To move. It's very important. The V. Move. Move. Que no es un B. Sino v, v, v. The secret of the V is that the V is really an F. But it's a vocalized, voiced F. So we take the F sound, and we add the vocal cord. We have a very good V. Victory. We have a very good V. Victory in Valencia. <laughs> so we are moving the vocal cords to create the perfect V. So the V is related to the F, But it is not related to the B. It doesn't sound like the B in English. It sounds like an F with a vocal cord activated. Okay? So here we have the word move. To move. The verb to move. Move. Okay? Today I move. Yesterday I moved. I am moving. Okay. Now we're going to move on and talk about the colors. The colors. Okay. Color, the, the word color has two possible spellings. One is British and one is American. Usually, when there are two spellings, uh, well, I, I shouldn't say usually because sometimes Canadians, in my case I'm Canadian and I think Australians are the same, that we sometimes choose the British spelling and sometimes choose the American spelling. So British people will spell the word color, C-O-L-O-U-R, color. But Americans will spell the word C-O-L-O-O-R, C-O-L-O-R. So we'll practice now. With the colors, negro, black, marron, brown, brown, blanco, white, 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 naranja, orange, 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 rojo, red, red. Red. Eso es red. No es, no es red. Red. My tongue stays back behind my teeth. My tongue does not touch my teeth, okay? Red. With the D. It's very important. Red. I live in Madrid. Not Madrid. Madrid. D -d -d. Decided. Madrid. Red. This sound is an important one. And it's a sound that Spanish people often have problems with. Los españoles tienen problemas uh, muchas veces con ese sonido y pronuncian con la lengua sacada red, pero no, 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 red. Con la lengua dentro, por arriba. Red, red, Madrid. In English, the D has one sound and one sound only. D, 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 D. Okay? If I say decided... 
the D at the beginning and the D at the end are the same. If you, if I, this is why foreigners, los extranjeros como yo, dice, dicemos en español, decidido, que un D muy fuerte, porque estamos hablando, esto, estamos pronunciando como, como en inglés, que la D tiene siempre ese sonido, D, 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 DO, decidido. Pero en español, cuando viene al, al final de la palabra, saca la, saca, sacáis la lengua un poco con ese sonido, pero en inglés no se puede hacer eso. Madrid, Madrid, es fuerte, es fuerte como, como si fuera um, otra palabra, de, decidido. Pero de, es, ese de es siempre igual. De, 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 red, Madrid, decided, fuerte, de, 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 de. Con la lengua dentro de la boca, ¿vale? Eso es muy importante. Púrpula. Purple. Purple. Eso es. Purple. 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 Amarillo. Yellow. Yellow. Rosa. Pink. 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 Azul. Blue. Blue. Gris. Gray. Gray. This is another word with two possible spellings. G-R-E-Y or G-R-A-Y. Gray. Verde. Green. Green. Okay. Muy bien. Black. Brown. White. Orange. Red. Purple. Yellow. Pink. Blue. Gray. Green. Okay, so I will say the word, this time let's do a little reverse translation. I will say the word in English and quickly say the word in Spanish to make sure you understand. Black, negro, eso es. Brown, marrón. Pink, rosa. Gray, gris. Purple, purpura. Orange, naranja. Red, rojo. Green, verde. Gray, gris. Blue, azul. White, blanco. Red, rojo. Purple, purpura. Yellow, amarillo. Pink, rosa. Black, negro. Brown, marrón. Okay, muy bien. I think you know the colors now. Muy bien, very good. Vocabulary of the day. All right, it's time now for the vocabulary of the day. The vocabulary of the day. ¿Cómo se dice en, en inglés? Corto o bajo. Short. Eso es. Short. Short. Hermana. Sister. Sister. Lento. Slow. Fuerte. Strong. Strong. Eso es. Tren. Train. Train. Very good. Train. Train. Okay, so corto, short, short or bajo, short. Is Danny DeVito tall or short? He's short. He's not tall, he's short. Hermana, Anna, sister. I don't have a sister. I have a brother, but I don't have a sister. Lento, slow, slow. I can speak quickly or I can speak very slow, slowly, slowly. Fuerte, strong. Tren, Train. That's right. To take the train. I like to take the train. I like to travel by train. All right. Now we're going to talk about the article an, 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 which is the article that we use when we have a vowel sound on the noun that follows it. Y lo que tienes que entender es que an precede a las palabras que empezarán por un sonido de vocal. No es necesariamente un vocal, sino sonido de vocal. A precede a las palabras que empiezan por un sonido de consonante. Por ejemplo, digamos an apple. An apple. Apple. Beginning with the letter A, empezando con la A. An apple. A banana. A banana. I ate a banana and I ate an apple. 
¿ok? Ok, vamos a practicar con un libro, a book. Si digo la palabra en español, tienes que decirlo en inglés, ¿vale? Con el artículo. Un libro, a book. Un perro, a dog. Una manzana, an apple. Un aeropuerto, an airport, an airport. Una naranja, an orange. Una universidad, a university, a university, you, you, university. An honor, an honor, an honor. Un honor, bueno, un, un, un honor en español se dice an honor. Ah, oh, honor, an honor. Tiene sonido de vocal, entonces tenemos que decir an. An honor. Con más vocabulario, por ejemplo, an elephant, an elephant, un elefante, an elephant, an elephant, a chair, una silla, a chair, a cat, a cat, un gato, a cat, a camera, an armchair, an egg, an egg. An egg, an egg, an elephant, an elephant, okay? An elephant, an apple, an orange, an egg, an envelope. But without the, without the vowel sound, we have a disc, a computer, a cat, a letter, a calculator, a book, a dog, a table, a university. Okay, a chair, a computer, a bottle. Where well, here I have an apple, an orange, an elephant, an hour. This class lasts an hour. Dura una hora, an hour. Con los tres niveles, sí, it lasts an hour. Okay, muy bien. Nos hemos quedado sin tiempo. We're out of time. So we will finish now. We will go to to the ads, to the advertisements, and now we will return. We will return shortly with the intermediate class. Please continue listening. See you soon. Bye bye.